Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Stephen Kane. I help people with peripheral neuropathy get out of pain and back to doing the things that they love doing. One of the ways that I help is by providing you with this video educational series that gives you tips to help give you some much needed relief. This particular video is about manual therapies, things done by chiropractors, physical therapists, massage therapists. Hence this video is particularly geared for those practitioners. However, it's also geared for people suffering from neuropathy so you know what to seek out from in these different types of therapists. Now, the first thing you need to say is that you always, always, always start with the cause of the neuropathy. If it is a pinched nerve, a pinched nerve in the back, in the ankle, in the wrist, in these cases, the manual therapies are most likely going to be the absolute best form of initial intervention to help you get better. If it's something more metabolic mediated, something like diabetes, an autoimmune condition, B12 deficiency, alcoholism, in these cases, the manual therapies, it's much more unclear as to how important of a role they're going to play. In most of these situations with the metabolic therapies, diet, exercise, and nerve stimulation are going to be much more important. With that said, the manual therapies can play an important role in the nerve uh, stimulation therapy and also helping to improve exercise mechanics. Research by Dr. Chachawan showed that Thai massage helped to improve range of motion in the joints of people with diabetic peripheral neuropathy, helped to improve sensation, and also helped to improve balance. These are all really important things. Now, the thing to know about Thai massage is that it's not just your normal uh, rubbing the muscles type of massage. They actually do a lot of stretching as well in these types of massages, which is extremely important for people with peripheral neuropathy because in almost all situations, people with peripheral neuropathy are going to have compromised range of motion. Now when you do this, when you increase the range of motion in the joints, you're going to better lubricate the joints for less discomfort at the joint level. You're going to reduce the tension in the muscles, ligaments, and tendons. You're going to help promote better biomechanics when you're walking or you're doing any type of exercise. And you're also going to reduce overall stiffness felt in the body. All really good things. Now because improving this range of motion for most people with peripheral neuropathy is such an important thing, I'm going to show you some of the manual therapies that I found to be quite effective in working with people that have peripheral neuropathy. What I like to do is stretch out both the toes and the feet as much as is comfortable for the patient. And once we get to that end range, I'll have them press their toes and their feet into my hand. This is the PNF type of stretching, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitated stretching. It really helps get a deeper stretch and also teaches the body to function in this elongated state, making it more transferable into daily life. I'll do this in all different ranges. So I'll go, I'll dorsiflex or bring the toes and feet up towards the head. I'll plantar flex, bring it at the opposite direction. I'll do this inverting the foot and everting the foot. And I'll do this at least three times in each direction. Well, stretch for at least five seconds, have them contract for at least five seconds, and again, repeat this at least three times. I've also found that doing trigger point therapy is quite effective. Working on the bottom of the feet is where you're going to find most of them, and putting a sustained pressure as they breathe deeply, and I also have them to envision and really focus on visualizing, seeing the trigger point melt into their feet. I'll also do shearing and shaking of the feet or wherever they have the neuropathy as this is going to activate a different set of receptors in the feet. I'll do toe tugs to help actually decompress the joints in their toes. I'll adjust the talus in their ankle and also the navicular and the calcaneus as shown. Now it's very important to note that if there is pain while doing any of these manual therapies, stop. And even if there's not pain, I encourage you to be gradual with how you escalate in the intensity of doing these manual therapies. Even some of the most seemingly innocuous therapies can cause a lot of pain during or potentially delayed later on in the day. So start small and work your way up. Now when I work with people that have metabolic mediated neuropathies, diabetes, alcohol, autoimmune conditions, I normally see them about once a week. And I'll most of the time do these manual therapies as long as they're tolerating them. Now this is most certainly, in and of itself, not enough to get these people better. The benefit that comes in doing these is, one, you can show the patient what they're capable of in terms of improving their range of motion. It helps you keep a good pulse on the overall state of their feet or wherever the neuropathy is, 
all while doing something that is good for them. What's really going to help them out is the guidance that you give them. What diet should they be eating? Are they having any challenges with their current diet that you have recommended for them? Same thing for exercises. What do they need to be doing? What are the challenges that they may be having with the recommendations that you've given them? What is their nerve stimulation program that they're doing at home? Are they doing vibration, doing brush therapy, walking bare feet, barefoot on grass? What are they doing to stimulate the nerves in their body? Managing these three things, this is where your patients are going to get the absolute best results. The manual therapies are still important, but you need to keep this in perspective of what's really going to give them the absolute greatest value and truly help them get better. These types of manual therapies can play an integral role in a holistic and effective program in helping someone reverse their neuropathy. So be sure to check out our other videos so you know the other things that need to fall into place to help a person reach optimal recovery from neuropathy. Thanks for watching this video. Please do leave your comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.